What do you believe is your best quality? And are you able to see it as a personal resource? It is resource week at our raw material. I am Tavish Cardiff here to discuss how we view and use the resources around us and where we might have gotten off track with the original intention of our resource ability altogether. Even if we are or feel completely alone in the world, there are options available to us. The human condition supports this effort. Even if we don't have family or friends, the universe provides services, systems, acts of God, moments where the right thing shows up at the right time. Resource week is a spiritual week. It's the last of the spiritual weeks. And I like to point out that each of us is a resource. It may not feel like it all the time. It may not look like it all the time, but there is some quality that we each possess that is valuable to the people around us if we can recognize its value. When we don't recognize its value, we feel inadequate and we feel like we are unable to contribute to society in the ways that we might want to. So getting in touch with that quality or qualities that we bring to the table naturally, easily, without even trying is a first step towards recognizing how we fit in the world that we might not otherwise feel like we are part of. Why do we miss seeing the resources around us? I will draw a parallel to God. We all have all these different ways of connecting to God, all these separate rules that each culture, each dynasty, each group of people, each community has put together and said, this is what it takes to see or know God. But I do believe there's a way for each of us to connect within us to the space that is God. We each have access to this well of information, power, and ability that we reach through the resource pillar, among other ways, but we are all in a profound state of forgetting that space is there. What our raw material strives to do is stick each of these pillars in front of us so that we become aware of the things that hold us in connection. We become aware of what intentions can serve the collective while we work to support our individual selves because the point of this all is being good humans or being active humans or being participating humans. I don't even want to call anything good because all of our experience is valid. We have deemed it good or bad, but I don't even know that that's a reality that we need to continue. The belief system that we hold labels part of our experience as incredibly negative. And if we're ever going to overcome the things that keep us limited as humans, it's going to be expanding experience to include what everybody goes through, not just the chosen things that are appropriately cultured or endeavored or whatever that piece looks like. We all came in with our own raw material, the stuff that makes us uniquely us. We also came in with an underlying awareness that we are all connected deep within us. That is the spiritual resource that's available through the resource pillar. The practice guidance for this week is to pay attention to the types of compliments that you've gotten in your life or see if you get any this week, see where they come from, see what types of things people enjoy or appreciate about you. And instead of doing the normal thing that you do, which is acting like anyone can do that, recognize that these are things that other people see about you and they're valuable. Recognize your own ability to be a resource, no matter what you have. Even if all you have to give is a smile or the ability to listen, that can be really valuable in the right situation. Remember, sharing is supposed to be caring, but when sharing makes us judge and jury of who deserves it, We've gotten a little off track. Get back to the heart, the resource that is willing to give on a human level, the resource that willing, the resource that is willing to recognize each of us as a member of the human community and as a part of what we all strive for connection, 
with something bigger than us. I call it God. You can call it whatever you want. Thank you so much for spending these minutes with me. I will be back next week as we talk about aligning with intention. And until then, enjoy your week.